What's up guys, it's your boy Ravna, and today I'm going to be giving a block for block tutorial on how to build this gothic style haunted house inside of Minecraft. So, those who have been on my channel for a while, or have clicked on the other gothic house video, may know that uh, that video was made just to give you sort of an idea of how to build gothic house styles in general. But this is a full block for block tutorial on how to build a house just like this. First we're going to be looking at the palette and just some other information and then we'll start building. So let's go. Right then guys, so before we get into the build itself, we'll just have a quick look at the palette and the layout of the base. So uh, looking at the palette first, it's fairly simple really it's mainly stony blocks i sort of arranged it and sort of a gradient but we're not going to be doing that so as you can see there's uh you know a lot of black stone so we've got the three variations of uh, black stone so we've got the black stone bricks uh, in the stairs and slabs as well as well as for just normal black stone in those variants but we also have the uh, polished black stone brick walls and never brick fence we have a polished deep slate and that's also in the wall variant we also have deep slate uh, bricks and that's also in the stair and wall variant we have basalt uh, polished basalt uh, but we might be mixing in some other ones probably not uh, we have normal stone bricks of course uh, stone wall and uh well, stone brick wall and a stone brick slab and we also have mossy and cracked variations of the stone brick we have uh, lodestones uh polished andesite wall anvils iron bars uh, iron trapdoors dark oak trapdoors light gray glass and uh, cyan glass in the uh, glass block and pane vari variants as well as uh, some spruce leaves so as you can see it's a fairly large uh, number of blocks but there are quite a few of them which are only used like once or twice within the build uh, but overall you know they're looking all right so going on to the layout as you can see it's a lot bigger than most of the other uh, sort of builds i've done uh, in a block for block tutorial but it, it and it is fairly complicated but a lot of it is just repetition with just like a few changes within the build itself so the main big section is 25 by 15 so that's obviously 25 on the longest side and 15 going down uh, all of these measurements should be on the screen we've got this large yellow bit at the back which is 13 by 7 with this sort of small little cut out here that's a uh, 5 by 3 but i didn't really think we needed to have that on there uh, the next biggest section i think is this blue bit so that's 9 by 5 uh, and it has a little and again another 5 by 3 cut out section uh, on the end we've got uh, these green squares so those are seven by seven and they're going to be acting as sort of like square towers we've got this uh red uh rectangle so that's five by seven which is kind of the same thing but just cut off a little bit earlier we've got this uh seven by seven sort of purple square but it's got a part cut out so it's sort of circular or uh octagonal on the end uh so uh, as you can see from the picture it goes along five and sort of goes in one uh, and then there's a three on the end and then it goes out sort of the same way on the other side i wasn't really sure how to describe that so as you can see it's just on there actually we have the orange bit so that's five by five and then we have this pink circle octagon sort of thing which is going to be our circular tower on the corner and the sort of radius of that is four so it goes three then sort of like one back uh, and then three and that's sort of a exactly the same as the purple one on the end but just all the way around uh for the brown sort of dots they represent porches uh the one at the front of the build next to the blue bit and in front of the green bit uh those are that's going to be a porch uh so we've got one sort of in the back corner so that's 13 by 11 we've got one next to the purple bit and uh, in between the tower and that bit and that is 11 by sort of four if you include the uh, edge of the tower and we've got this front bit which is 13 by seven uh in the actual build itself uh, it is a little bit longer i decided to edit it while before like after i made the image for this so uh, sorry about that but as you can see uh, it is I've, I've got the right measurements on the image on the screen it's just not the same 
uh, in the actual build. So let's get right into okay, it. Okay, so uh, just before we get into the video, just a quick say, uh, I've got 383 subscribers at the time of recording and uh, I want to reach uh, 400 by the end of the year. As you can see from the analyt analytics below it, it says I gained 22 in the last 28 days and we've got two months, so like we can easily do that. But I just want to make sure that we get to that milestone and if you're watching this, please make sure we get there and if you want, we can get even further. So, uh, first things first, we're going to get our uh, blackstone and we're going to start to build up the base. So you want to get your polished blackstone uh, variant so you only want to get for normal block and the polished blackstone stairs and you also want to get for wall and then later we'll mix in the other uh, blackstone into the base so what you want to do is you want to go we'll start on this bit here but we're going to do it all the way around so you want to go along here this front bit here we want to go along uh, all the way on the outside five blocks then in the corner we want to build up two blocks with the uh, wall two blocks with the other wall then next to the walls, we want to place these uh, bits like this. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. And then fill in this middle bit with upside down stairs. So obviously we don't actually need this bit. We're going to be going along the rest of here and then having back corner uh, be the wall. Uh, so we can just break this and replace it with a stair. And we want to repeat that uh, all the way around. But uh, I'll probably just do the texturing all, all in one go. So we want to get our blackstone variant and we want to place some slabs some blocks sorry some blocks uh, of normal blackstone in it we also want to place some random stairs just to roughen up a bit so in the end it should look like this and i think it looks really nice it's a little bit uh less sort of rugged from what i did last year but i think it looks really good so now all we need to do is go around the entire outside of this build with this sort of pattern Right then guys, so we've gone around and we've detailed it all out and it's looking uh, pretty decent so far. So, now we're going to start building up the, uh, the first floor. So what we want to do is we're just going to go on top of these bits. I recommend getting just like a base block, so you know, use the blackstone if you want to. So if you just go along the edge of the build just like this. quickly just made a layer for it to all sit on so now we're going to start building up the first floor you want to get your deep slate bricks and deep slate uh, brick walls and you want to get your stone bricks and in these corners we want to build up with one stone block like this then a wall on top and then up like this so it's five in total so you should have a block a wall a block a wall and then a block on top we want to go into the other we'll just go into the other corner over here to do that and it and when we fill in the walls so we're just going to be doing that with the normal uh stone bricks as you can see it kind of makes like a overlapping brick pattern kind of uh, i don't I, I you can see what it is but i don't really know how to explain it so we're just going to go around this entire bottom bit here and just uh, make it so uh, it's all up one floor just like this. start building up the first sort of like layer that will separate this all out so blackstone uh, brick block so we'll just get this one uh, then we want to get our deep slate brick stairs we want to get the anvil and we want to get our iron trap doors so we're going to build up two blocks 
like this with the uh, black stone. We only really need uh, this top bit because this is just sort of like a placeholder block. But I just normally do this so you can sort of see it clearly uh, with what the layers are. We then want to go along like this. But we don't want to go sort of off the side so we only want it to be in front of it. Then we're going to place our anvils on top like this. Uh, and then we're going to place our iron trap doors on top of those. So this is a very iron heavy build, so you can make substitution for other blocks, like for walls, for example. You could do that if you wanted to. Uh, and as you can see, it looks uh, pretty good. Uh, and just another sort of thing. So uh, if I just quickly go along like this. So obviously in the corners, we can't place an anvil because it doesn't go both ways. So we just want to place one of these polished deep slates. Right then, so as you can see, we finished adding in this layer to the build and it's looking pretty good. So just some uh, details I kind of forgot to mention. So in on the sort of curved bits, so on this bit over here and this bit, for the anvils, we want to place them sort of facing in the same direction as the wall in front. So uh, in this case, we want, so these ones are all facing sort of this way, so we want the one behind it to also be facing this way and then we want it to be the same on this side uh, so it sort of creates this pattern. Uh, the other thing is uh, obviously underneath those we want them to just be full blocks because stairs wouldn't work. Uh, over here, uh, I kind of forgot to mention this, but in this corner bit here we want to do a block and then in this corner instead of a full block we want to do walls. But I think that's sort of the main things uh, for now. So now we're going to start building up the next layer. So only on some, I'm just going to mark it out for now. So we want to get the same blocks we were using for this bottom bit here. So we want to get our uh, deep slate bricks and our stone bricks. And we're just going to mark out where it's going to go up. So we want to get this entire area going up. So it should uh, just go all the way. Uh, along here, so I'll just mark it out like this. And as you can see, uh, this is going to be where the second floor goes up. So we're just going to go all the way around here. However, for this whole area here, uh, we're not going to be having anything. So this sort of bit sticking out here, the, I forgot what colour it was on the original image. But we don't want this, sort of, or I think this bit was orange, and this bit is yellow. So we don't want that yellow bit to be going up. It's just going to be flat going along here, but there is going to be a roof on here. So it sort of blocks out that whole flat bit. And as you can see, we've got a good sort of like base for it. So if I just go up here, you can't really see it very well. But we're basically chopping off this bit here. Uh, and this bit here is only going to be going up. Uh, sort of two is only going to be going up Actually, it's only going to be going up three blocks So it's only going to be this tall and then it's going to have the uh, the other bit on top And it's going to be the same for this bit here So it's just going to be like this but for the rest of it It's all going to be the full five blocks up. So as we can see here So I'll just quickly fill in the walls and then you'll probably get a slightly better idea about what's going on As you can see it's all looking uh, pretty good so far and as you can see if we just go back over here we can see that this bit's a little bit shorter and over here this bit's a little bit shorter too so now what you want to do is we're going to add on this sort of like top anvil bit so this is going to be going around the top of here and then we'll look at the roof and the final layer. <laughs> you can see it's all built up and it's looking uh, very nice so uh, looking at this side here uh, when the iron trapdoor starts to go into the stair we want to replace it with a full block 
and on these sides you just want to put them underneath it we don't need any of the uh, special so like blocks or anything going on there and as you can see it's exactly the same on this side as well so going on to the final layer so this is just some smaller towers and then it's going to be going into the roof so you want one going up here and this is going to be free so it's going to look uh, like this uh, then in this bit here we want to create a tower that's uh, an extra five so this is going to be in line with this bit so one two three four five i believe yeah so it's going to be a square uh, by five so if you just count in well it's by seven really uh, but if you count five and then place a block on the end then it should look like that and that's the size we want it to be so that's looking uh, pretty cool uh, we also want to do that on the tower at the back here that's also green so just count uh, count five so we've built that one up now and the final one is just this tower over here so this is going to be an extra free tool uh, so I'll just mark it out like this for now so we, we don't want to do the corner bits for this yet we'll wait until we have the windows for that so let's get <laughs> As well as building up for walls, I just added on this top layer here, so it's exactly the same as these two, and it looks fairly nice. So, going onto the roof, uh, the thing we want to do is get our polished blackstone uh, bricks, and we're going to start building it up fairly simply. So, we're just going to be going up uh, like this. So, you want to place a block, and then a stair on top, and then go back a block. That was, I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Or sound that cool but uh, well there you go so just quickly fix that like that so you want this to go up uh, three or four in total so we just want to fix these uh, along the way and as you can see it creates sort of like quite a nice like roof uh, so we're just going to do this base layer and then we'll go on to the more complicated ones uh, in a minute so that's it. first layer uh, as you can see we are going to have to fill in uh, these roof bits here but I'm going to leave that for later so as you can see they're looking pretty good now we're going to start building up uh, these roof bits here so what we want to do is we want to just go up sort of similar to this uh, sort of some details I didn't really mention in these corner bits we don't want to put a stair we just want to leave it sort of blank so it goes up like that and it looks pretty nice so we want to go up like this then what we want to do is we want to just go up in that sort of pattern uh, all the way up uh, until we reach uh, sort of like a three. So I think this is two layers. Yeah, so we want to reach a layer like this. So it should be around that tool. And then we're going to add some extra details on top in a minute. Uh, in terms of this bit here, it's a little bit awkward. So we're going to make this bit a little bit taller than it would usually be. Uh, then we're just going to make it go in uh, like this and then we're just going to top it off here so it's on the oh it's one block higher yeah okay well we're just going to sort of block it off here uh, and it should just go along like that so uh, now we're just going to copy this over here and then we'll go over that bit later and we're going to fill in these uh, this is looking pretty nice I think 
Uh, this bit's a little bit awkward, but we're going to put a dormer there so you won't really be able to notice it. So now we're going to work on the tower. So the tower's a little bit more confusing. So for this bit, we want to get our um, we want to get our uh, walls and our slabs. So I'm just going to move all of these over here. So I'll just move them the max distance. Uh, we also want to get our nether brick fence and our iron bar. So this is going to be a very pointy looking tower. So first things first, we're going to build just along here. So it looks like that. Then we're going to place a block here and a block here. Uh, we'll place one over here. So we'll just focus on this side for now. We're going to place some stairs facing inwards like that and then a slab on top. We're going to go in like this. So it should look like that. Uh, we'll place some more stairs on this side like this. So it should look like that. And then another one on the side. We're going to place walls here. And then we're going to repeat that on the other sides. So I'll just quickly do that. Okay, so now that we've uh, built all of this up, we're going to get started on the next layer. So it's very similar. So we just want to go up like this. So it should look like that. Again, uh, up in this sort of pattern, so it should look all like this. Place the uh, blackstone brick walls, and then we want stairs on top of here. Then we want one block up like that, then, then the wall, then the fence gate, and then the iron bar. So it should look like that in the end, and it looks uh, pretty good, I think. So, uh, now that we've done that, as you can see, it's looking pretty good that's pretty much uh most of the roof detail uh for the actual roof itself now we're going to start adding some dormers first things first we want to get our basalt our deep slate bricks uh brick stairs and these and we probably that's probably all we need really so in this area here as you can see that looks actually fine so we're just going to go on to uh this backside here and we're going to add two dormers in the back so we want to get uh, one here move three blocks and then one here so it should look like that build up uh, three so it should look just like that and it looks uh, pretty cool I think then we're going to place some stairs going out like this we're going to do this on both sides and then going up so again, the same pattern as we did before, but this time it's going to be on a um, like face, an A-frame. So that looks uh, pretty good. Then we're just going to fill it in in the back. So just going back like this. One of the good things about this is it isn't on the same level as the rest of the bricks. So it gives it a little bit of sort of change. And as you can see, it looks uh, pretty good. So we're going to do that. Okay. As you can see, we've built up the next few dormers. This one is one block higher than it would normally be because it's we don't want it to be all the way blocked off by that. And we also want it to be able to cover up this side. So now it's less obvious that it's one block higher than it's supposed to be. And on the back here, as you can see, it's looking uh, pretty good. So the next detail we're going to add is just on top of these roof bits. It's pretty simple. We're going to get our... Uh, sort of polished deep slate walls. We're going to get our iron bars and our anvils and we're going to create a pattern sort of on the roof here. So we'll do it up here at first. So we want to place uh, these polished deep slate walls. So you want to get our anvil and place it in, be in between these. So it should create a pattern like this. And on top of the walls we want to place a an iron bar so it creates a sort of little pointy pattern there and what we want to do is repeat that all the way around the build so we want to have the uh, these ones in the corners and then we just want to miss a block go along like this and then place the anvils so that's cool. Now 
now that we've added all of these details, the build is sort of coming to an end really. So we're going to start detailing the little bits here. So what we want is we want to get our, we're going to detail the roof. So we want to get our blackstone and our like just blackstone variations really. And just start mixing them into the roof just to make it look a little bit more worn down. So just going along like this. And it should look something like that. And we're just going to do that uh, around the entire roof just to make it look a bit more interesting. What we're also going to do now is we're going to get our polished blackstone bricks and just fill in all of these areas here. Uh, if you want, you can like mark out this area, like the corner of the brown bit with some basalt, just so you remember. So you just go up like that and then you can remember where it is. And we're just going to fill in this bottom bit here and we're going to add, like mix in the other blackstone blocks into the roof. So that's good. So now that we've pretty much fully detailed for roof, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Just make sure to sort of roughen up these general bits that may look a little bit boring. Uh, and as you can see, they're all looking fine. Uh, obviously, we also roughened up that bottom bit. But now we're going to be focusing on the dormers and then we're going to be getting into the windows and then uh, just doing some other final details. But that is pretty much uh, it after that. So looking at the dormers, the blocks we're going to need are obviously the polished basalt, uh, deep slate bricks and uh, deep slate brick stairs. We're going to want our, um, oh, not ferns, we're going to want our iron trap doors and we're going to want our polished blackstone slabs and just normal blackstone slabs. So we're going to start with this one. So you want to move, we want to leave a gap of five blocks so that will go directly into that wall so that's fine. Then uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then like that, and then that will go directly into there. We're going to build this up. Uh, f how many? Five blocks. So it will be well, four blocks. So it will be five blocks in total. Uh, and then on top of that, probably on this level, we're going to go up like this. Uh, so it will be six blocks in total. Just break that and connect it like that for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get our deep slate stairs and go along. Uh, like this so it connects into there it's going along like this deep slate bricks and our anvil uh, so we're just going to go along here with these if you want you can break these inner ones but I'm not going to bother so you just want to go uh, it's fixing up this area here and we're going to go along just like this so it should all connect up into it we're going to have to break the uh, iron trapdoors and then we want to go with the iron trapdoors along the top here so it looks pretty nice then we're going to use our slabs and just go up so we want to go four blocks up in total and as you can see that looks uh, pretty cool so uh, to thicken up these pillars a little bit because it is looking a little bit heavy get your polished deep slate uh, walls and just build up like this so it should look uh, just like that so that'll create a sort of like thicker like round pillar uh, if you want over here you can add in one I probably will actually so just build up with the uh, basalt or basalt I don't know go up like that and just do that on this one as well so it should look uh, just like that we won't put one over there so we're just gonna add sort of like a little arch if you just so do a lodestone in the corner here then we'll do the walls going along like that so that looks uh, pretty nice. So now we have a sort of very, very thick pillared sort of area. Uh, we want to get these blocks, get our anvils and these, and just quickly place our, this sort of pattern, uh, place a correct pattern over here. So it should look like that. 
go along like that and as you can see it looks uh, pretty nice so now we're going to build this sort of a very similar thing on this side uh, and on the back and we're going to mess up this roof and then we'll get right back to it so let's go Right then guys, so I I finished going all the way around and I just added some extra details underneath. So as you can see we've just got some uh, loads, some upside down load stones just acting as sort of like a roof. And I've done that on all of them. So as you can see they're all pretty simple, they're all fairly similar. Uh, the only thing that I forgot to do was to add the sort of roof bit. Right then, so now we're going to get on to the windows. So you want to get your polished andesite stairs, you probably want to also get uh, some actual polished andesite block, and we're going to start adding in for windows and doors. So uh, we'll get our stone brick wall first and we'll add a, we'll add a door. So we'll just get, we're going to have spruce doors in four areas. So you want to get trap doors and normal doors. So we'll add some stairs in a minute. But if you go in here, go here, uh, go sort of like this. If we get our stone brick slab, place it here and go up like this with these. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Then we're just going to place whatever block here, probably uh, a black stone block would make sense. Place a door sort of in this block. And then we're going to go up with these until they're in line with this. I don't think I've showed this off before, but it is a pretty nifty door design. So as you can see, it sort of makes it look quite large, but not super huge. Uh, and it makes it look like the door's sort of a little bit circular. So we're going to add one there, of course. One uh, here, uh, just uh, here. So I'll just quickly do... Right, so now we've added in the doors, we're going to start adding in the windows, so we'll just get rid of this for now. So we're going to get uh, our andesite stairs, again we're going to get our going to get our dark oak trapdoor, we're going to get our cyan glass, uh, and we'll also, uh, we'll also get our basalt and I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need for now, other than these. So we'll start over here. So we're going to put a base layer like that. Go up three. So it should look like this. Then we're going to place in the glass one block behind. So it should look like this. So we have one not, uh, light grey, then one cyan, then one light grey like that. On top of it, sort of on the top of this block here, we're going to have a trap door. And then underneath it, we're going to have some leaves just coming down like this. Going up, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So they're only ever really going to be uh, sort of like one block wide like this. Uh, again, placing the trap door in. Then we're going to break this block here and again do our spruce leaves so it should look like that and as you can see it's looking pretty nice going up here we'll just add a small little one up in this area so we'll just do the cyan we'll just do the cyan glass because that's the most colorful we want to add some color to this very dark sort of myotone build uh, as you can see that looks uh, pretty nice so we're going to go around the rest of uh, the build adding in sort of windows like that. We're going to leave the tower for now. We'll come back to that later, but for the rest of it, uh, if you just follow something like that, then you should be fine. So.
those are all the windows I said I was going to do for now and now we can work on these windows over here so what you want to do is get a, a polished granite block uh, we'll just get rid of these for now so you want to on these towers we want to place these in the corners so you get sort of like a little uh, thing like this so uh, obviously it doesn't you don't really need a window here because it's just looking into nothing but uh, it's sort of like an all-round sort of like tower window sort of thing so on these you just place that and as you can see it kind of creates like a full all the way around window and you can like do uh, for tops of the windows like this and obviously just add in the uh, these blocks and it will just create a sort of nice uh, like circular window that you could look out of and you'd normally have on sort of like a rich house like this. A detail you might want to add is if you just replace these bits with uh, the basalt and it just makes it stand out a little bit more. So if we look at it, it looks a lot like better in my opinion because you can actually sort of like see where it's supposed to start and end and it isn't just outlined by those and this just makes it look a lot more obvious. So uh, we're also going to do the same thing on this bit over here. So let's get <laughs> So as you can see, we've now built up the tower and I think it looks uh, really nice. Uh, I think these windows look really cool. And uh, yeah, so final thing, I'm. this is pretty much the build done. I'm not going to be doing interior, but I think this build looks really nice. But the final thing is just to add like an entrance. That guy really is ruining, ruining it for us. But we just want to build some stairs, of course, mix in some of these blocks. Uh, on the sides, if you want, uh, I probably will actually, you can add in sort of like a thing going up like this. And then on top of that, if you get some of these walls, just go down like that. Uh, then on top of those, you can add in some iron bars. So it just goes up like that and it looks pretty cool uh yeah and looks pretty nice uh, another thing you might want to add is a railing so all you want to do is just exactly the same technique that we did on the other side stuff like this yeah so exactly like what we did on the roof really if you want you can add the spikes on top i'm probably just going to add in some iron trap doors just to make it stand out a little bit and make it a little bit more of an obvious railing so if we just go around and then just go around the other like bits like this on the build and add in that same railing. So let's do that and then we're over and we're done. Okay, the final thing uh, I completely forgot about this is uh, is you just want to quickly mix in some of the other stone blocks into the wall. I'm just going to be doing it using world edit. So it's really simple, all you want to do is break some of the blocks and then mix in the other varieties, but I'm just going to use word in it, so. See, that is the build fully done, there's nothing else we need to do in this build. Overall, I would say that it is really nice, I really like how this came out, uh, it's just a really like nice build to look at. It's got so many cool details, uh, I, I, I assume most of you just came from a video. That I did like a year ago but I think this is a huge improvement and a lot of that is down to the new blocks but I am really happy with this build so uh, yeah so if you've made it this far make sure to like and subscribe uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video so bye